So hello everyone, welcome to Tesco Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurabh Mishra, and today in this video, we are going to discuss about the networking of industrial controller. Its order code is 22236220.3.11n. So in this video, we are going to discuss about its components and its working. So starting with the uh, component parts of the networking of industrial controller. So firstly, we are provided with the power switch. Okay, then we are having the uh, AI uh, one switch in where, through which we can give the input supply. A common port has been given. The another port of A not one and common port uh, common port for that and a port for the relay and its common port has been given. A display for the controller one is provided and a connection uh, interface for the coffee bus is also provided. Now here you can see the power indicator is being provided. Next, variable DC generator is given through which we can uh, change the uh, voltage supply. Its power supply, power port and a common port has been given for both. Then a fixed DC supply plus 24 volt and common port has been given. This is the uh, interface for the controller 1. Similarly, we are having uh, interface for the controller 2. All the components are similar as the controller 1. Now we will move for the another part. So now this is the networking of industrial controller. So this is the PLC of uh, networking of industrial control, controller and here the PLC which we are using is Siemen Sematic S7-1200. So we will uh, connect this with the previous kit and then connect it with the software. So since uh, we have discussed about the components of networking of industrial controller, now we will uh, start with the connection. Uh, okay, so we are provided with this type of cables and there are three ends for the connectivity. Okay, so yeah, firstly you have to take the, this, this section in which there are two cables have been connected. Okay, and connect to this part of this PLC. So let's connect to this part. Okay. So we have connected uh, this cable from here. Okay, now connect one patch code uh, with the controller one part. Okay, and another with the controller two. You must ensure that the connection should be proper. Okay, and another part with this controller two. So see all we have done connected all the three connecting ports of this cable with the this kit and the PLC. Now connect this USB cable, uh, this uh, LAN cable from this PLC. Just open this and connect this. Connect this LAN cable and another port with the CPU of your PC. Now we have to connect the main supply to this networking of industrial controller kit and another main supply with this PLC kit. Just connect the main supply. Okay. You can see the system gets on. And similarly, you have to connect a main supply to this PLC kit. Another main supply with this PLC kit. Okay. Just switch it on. You can see the connection is switched on on both the kits. Now we will connect it with the software. Now we have to connect the patch ports. So connect this port. Since we are dealing with the controller one, so we will connect this with the T1 port. And the common port with this common port. Okay, these are the regulators. We can, uh, since it is showing 26.4, we have to make it to the minimum and then we will connect it with the software. Okay, so near approx, you will see the value minus 0.4 or minus 0.5. I will connect it with the software and set the value. And similarly, you can do the connections uh, with the controller 2 
as we have done in the control oven. So now we will deal with the software part of networking of industrial controller. So first of all, search for the control panel, open it, then click on network and internet. After that, click on network and sharing center. Now you have to click on this change adapter settings. Now click on eth ethernet, double click on this, click on properties. Now click on internet protocol version 4. Now check for the properties. Now you can name the IP addresses. So we have taken as 192.168.0.3. Okay. Then click on use the following IP address. Now click on use the following DNS server address. And after that click on OK. Now come back and click on local disk C search for this profibus open the software okay now you'll see uh, the screen now go for this now in this configuration part click on this IP address will be there then click on submit then you can see a connected uh, signal is being shown on your screen now again open the menu bar go on the controller one since we have already done the connections now we will set the value let's suppose we have taken 40 okay then click uh, press on enter button and submit it now you can see the set value is been 40.0 so you can see it on the hardware uh, we can say on the networking of industrial controller kit okay let me show you so now as we have uh, connected with the software so now since we are dealing with the controller one so we have to increase this regulator okay and similarly since we have set the value at 40 so we will increase it and the peak value it will uh, achieve will be 40 so now increasing this you can see the value is increasing the set value is 40 so now increasing this the value will increase to the 40 and the graph will level up okay so we are slowly increasing this so that we can see the changes in the graph okay Now I will show you the change in the graph. So now uh, we have to check the connections for the controller one. So we have connected all the patch codes and take the uh, variable DC generator voltage to the minimum. And now we will see the graph in on the software. So just we have to click on the, we have just set the value at 40. Now click on the start. So while clicking on the start, you just have to increase the value of the variable DC generator near approx 1 and you can increase the more. So you can observe the graph after clicking on start. So just you can see the measured value is increasing. Okay. Okay. So after it is increasing. You can see that blue line. The graph is increasing. The measured value with respect to the measured value. The set value is 40, and the measured value is 7.4, and it's increasing. Okay, so increase slowly, and you can observe the graph. now same you can do it for the controller too you can see the graph from clicking on the menu bar you can go on the controller too and set the values for uh, the controller too and click on submit and similarly you can observe the graph for the controller too and then click on stop So here is the complete demonstration of uh, 
networking of industrial controller from my side if you have any query you can contact at tesla global website for other information related to this product you can refer to the manual and information related to other products are given in the links given in the description thank you for watching this video if you like this video just like share and subscribe to our channel